Hello and welcome. My name is Steve Disher. I am a Microtik trainer. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to generate a firewall using the Microtik configurator tool. Now, this tool will generate several different types of firewalls, which we've discussed in other tutorials, but this particular type is one that you would use when you have public IP addresses on the local area network. The best example I could give would be a rack of servers in a data center that you're trying to protect with a firewall router. So in this particular scenario, our servers are located on the local area network interface. We have the basic default configuration on our Microtik router, and what we want to do is to create a firewall that will block certain countries from being able to get access to our servers in the data center and also allow legitimate users in countries that we designate to be able to get access as well. So we begin by loading up the configurator tool and selecting the countries for which we do not want to allow access. And I'm not picking on any particular countries, just picking some so that we have some addresses to work with. So I've selected the countries and I've hit the generate address list button and that will generate the address list that we'll use later on in the configuration. The next thing I'll do is scroll down to where it says generate a public IP firewall. And the only information that I have to give the configurator is the name of the LAN interface. So in order to get that name, I'm going to log into my router. Once I'm in Winbox, I'm going to click the Interfaces button and then double click on the interface to which all of my servers are connected. Now since we're using the default configuration, Ethernet 3, 4, and 5 are slaved off of Ethernet 2 using the switch chip function that's available in the router board 750. So from the router's perspective and the router's point of view, all traffic is passing through Ethernet 2 regardless of whether the physical connection is to either 2, 3, 4, or 5. So Ethernet 2 is my LAN interface. I want to copy that. I can OK out of there and then paste that value into the blank for the LAN interface name. The next step is simply click the button and generate another file. So now that we have these two text files created by the configurator tool, what we want to do is to highlight them in our downloads folder and then drag them into the files list. Once they're in the files list, we'll use the procedure that we've outlined in a previous video. We'll launch a new terminal and type import and then the tab key to show the files that may be imported. And we'll first import the IP firewall address list. And then we'll import again, this time the actual firewall script. So the last thing that I want to do is to walk you through the firewall and the address list that we have created with our public firewall configurator tool. So to do that, I'm going to click on IP firewall, then click on address list. And this is where we have the country blocks of IP addresses that we have imported through uh, the import command. Then we switch over to the filter tab rule, and I'm going to switch this to the forward chain. And this is where we're going to see the two rules created by the configurator. The first rule is very simplistic. It simply drops invalid connections that are going forward or through the router. This is just a housekeeping precaution that prevents malformed packets from passing through the router. The second one is a little more um, complex though because what it's doing is in the forward chain, this rule will protect all routers that are uh, behind the firewall, hosts that are behind the firewall, servers, that type of thing. So we've put the rule in the forward chain and on the advanced tab we've selected the source address list as the country IP blocks which come from the address list that we created before. So now any country whose address appears on this block will not be able to pass traffic to our devices on the back side of the firewall or as you'll see later to the firewall itself. Now I'm going to change my selector to the input chain and there we see several rules that show what we're actually manipulating on traffic that's going through into the router itself. 
The first rule says if your address uh, is on the address list, country IP blocks, we're going to drop your traffic. So that will keep all the countries on our address list from being able to access the router itself. The second rule says allow everything coming from the LAN interface to go to the router. So this would allow us to be able to manage the router, to provide DNS caching to clients on the LAN interface, and that type of thing. The other two rules deal with established connections, allowing those, as well as related connections. And finally, the last rule says drop everything else to the router. So you notice this rule is enabled right now. When you first import the firewall, this last rule will be disabled. So I will go ahead and do that now. I will disable the rule. And this is how you're going to see the rule appear when you first log into this router. I always suggest that you go into safe mode before you enable this rule. That way, if there's any issues with uh, your configuration, you won't lose access to the router itself. So finally, you will click on that last rule in the input chain. Make sure that you are in safe mode up at the top of Winbox. Enable that rule. And then possibly launch a new terminal and make sure you still have access to the router. If you do, you can exit safe mode and your router is now ready to use with your public IP network. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you learned something about creating public firewalls with our MicroTik configurator. My name is Steve Disher, and thanks for watching.